right, you guys, good morning. Truck is uh, still here, we're putting some parts on it. Uh, we gotta check the oil. How's the look on the oil side? Oil part is really good. Good. Right. Now we're going into the second dip once it's cleaned off. Yep, we're in the, yeah. right at the end okay. of the safe zone. We need to so put a little bit in, but I think we're okay. Sweet, awesome. We're starting off day three, Hot Rod Power Tour. I don't know why my voice is like gone. I think I just need to have some water or something, but about 7.30 in the morning right now. Bryce and Mike and all the other guys are, I think, getting breakfast right now, but uh, when the comment warm up, we're about to let this warm up, check, check, check tranny fluid, but everything else looks pretty good. Look at that thing, man. Perfect. All right, guys, look at this lineup. It's gonna be pretty fun, so. Like I said, this time we're actually gonna take the side roads and the actual hot rod route instead of just the highway the whole time, so it should be pretty fun. Hopefully I'll be able to hop in one of these cars at one point and actually get some rolling shots of everybody, but uh, pretty excited, it's gonna be a fun day. Excited to be working with Omazed again to offer you the chance to win a Superformance Mark III R, all while supporting a really great cause, the Peterson Auto Museum. Go to amazed.com slash Craig909 to enter for your chance to win. I know that if I had a Superformance Mark III R Cobra, I would definitely be tearing up the streets and showing everybody what this thing can do because it makes over 600 horsepower, has a 7.3 Godzilla in it, it's got the all new TKX 5 speed manual transmission in it, it's got custom paint, wheels, blackout package, and a bunch of other goodies, and it's even got a spare seat you can take one of your buddies with. And one of the best things that I like about Omaze is you're not just buying some t-shirt from a company to get entered in a win and then nothing happens. Omaze is more of an experience where your donations actually create a difference. Donations support great causes like the Peterson Auto Museum, which will extend its educational programs and allow for more people to learn and understand and preserve some of these classic vehicles. So for your chance to win a Superformance Mark III R Cobra, go to amaze.com slash Craig909. Your donations help support the amazing work of the Peterson Auto Museum. With that being said, I wanted to give a massive thank you to Omaze for working with me on today's video. Let's get back into it. Alrighty, off to Mike's car. It's gonna give me the fast back experience. I've never been in one of these. I've been a 69, I haven't been one of these. Well, hopefully it's uh, everything it's a good one. Do. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, dude. It's gonna be a good one, it's a manual. <laughs>
Taylor's Dragon at all or? Oh, I wish, that's not fun. Where are you guys coming from? On Toronto, East Cali. Oh, Toronto? Eating an ice cream. Yeah. Oh yeah, lick that baby. There's all these gas prices. Two eighty nine. Look at that. Hold on. I'm like, look over here. What the hell is this? Very confused. You got three twelve, three twelve, one nineteen for premium. Like, did these even work? Nope. Very good. Oh well, yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> but yeah, we're probably we just got into Alabama. We're probably what two hours? We're about, about two hours out. I don't know how many more miles. I got a Butterfinger, whatever this is for lunch. It tastes pretty good. I bought it like two minutes ago. It's already melted. It's really hot. See you guys in Alabama. Accelerator pump. I don't know. Power tour in that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Long hauler. Boy, he's more comfy than we are. I'm down to keep trying. I just yeah, probably should be maybe. closer to the front in case it does stop. It's fine. We're all, we're really close to the venue, so. Well, then let's it, it runs really good, so yeah. I think it'll be all right. Good. Let's go. Yeah. I'm always not the same. Need a hand? I think we're good. We just got it. Thank we're you, though. Now, $10,000 right now. I don't want to take it home. Okay. Oh, that, that was decent. Sick. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys, just uh, stopped outside of our destination. I actually don't know the name of the town, but it's had a cool little spot. To take a couple photos. We're all hanging out. This is going to be a rough exit. So, not sure how we're going to get back out of here, but either way, pretty cool spot. Pretty cool cars. Got other guys driving by. Yeah. It's a fun day. It's hot as hell. We're having fun. Look at all the cars coming out. I got a charger. And all these guys. Mustang Mafia. Hey, how you been doing? Hot. So you got some Pringles and some headphones over there? Yeah, there's, there's 
quite a few We're here. living in luxury. We have the heat from the trans tunnel. Oh yeah. We got the heat from the boom tubes. Yeah. And then of course the heat from the sun. Yeah. So it's uh. It's a rough one. Yeah. We we're sticking it out. We yeah. Come, how's the car doing? Solid. We threw an extra push around the front and uh, has it gone above, I mean, 200 sitting here, but on the highway it was like 190 all day. Oh, so. sweet. Yeah. Better. Perfect. Solid, solid. We're almost there. Good. Done. Done. It's been common pretty much on the whole route. You got a group of people chilling on the side, waving me on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Got a fox out there. Celine, dude. What the heck? Oh my god. Holy shit. I haven't seen one of these whole damn trip. Oh, that thing is nice. Oh, damn. That thing's nice. I finally saw one. Look at the cars, you can just see them everywhere. Does anyone know where we actually are? What? It's fucking diesel. Ah, he pulled out the diesel bomb. <laughs> oh, look at that. That don't sound good. That's a tip, man. Do you have any idea where we are? Uh, hell, because it's hot. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Well. We're in hell, we're like probably 20 minutes from where we're supposed to go, I think. Maybe less, I don't know. You surviving out here? Yeah. How's it doing? Fine. A little bit uh, yeah, so so far what I figured out is it needs 40% or less throttle. More than 40% throttle is when it breaks up. Really? Yeah. I think we'll be able to get it. See Luke's got his head strapped to his roof. <laughs> Finally made it to Hoover. That's it. Nice. Casey's moving the cubs, let us in. Do you think I'm driving a Fiat? <laughs> How are you? Hey, lawnmower guy. How are you? <laughs> we got Luke inside, got the hood strapped to the roof. I figure it probably got a little hot. I'm trying to cure some of block issues. Traction. Hood strapped to the roof, one of those days, huh? Dude, we've almost pulled out all the stops. I think the real solution is just get up and leave earlier. Yeah, I and don't get something. caught in a traffic jam where you have to get going uphill. Yeah. Puts all the heat in the engine bay and then and it only runs at two psi, so it's like paper lock, boom, you're yeah. done at like yeah. 205 yeah. in there. Nice. Cool. We made it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Hey, beat us. Barely. Barely. We're on my six, I saw. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Now will it refire? You? John began to skipper at Hot Rod Magazine. And you're coming up the next one. I will, yes. Awesome. Are those biscuits? You know it. That's my fuel line insulator. Really? Oh, hey, like... it actually works pretty good. Oh, I see. It's holding it up. Off the valve cover. <laughs> Ingenuity, man. King of it. All right, guys. Well, made it. Got the truck over here. Mike's Mustang's already getting all jacked up in the back. We're starting to put some coilovers in it. And uh, we got a bunch of guys going trucks and cars out here. It's pretty cool. See, Mike's already got his car jacked up, ready to rock and roll. This is kind of one of the reasons we brought it in. So we're gonna start pulling this thing apart and throwing some QA1 parts in it. And uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So this thing pretty much around we got here. Yeah. Oh, this one's got the full crown bit swap. Full thing. Got a nice clean notch over here too. Dang, I've been seeing this thing. I haven't got a, got a chance to go up next to it. Ah oh, man, I miss my Mustang so much already. Ooh, nice. There we go. Everywhere you turn, you kind of notice that with power tours. Everywhere you turn is something different, whether it's an import or an exotic. It's a guy driving a brand new Lamborghini Huracan around. There's a guy driving a Model T with no windows, so it's a little bit of everything. Kind of crazy. A little hard for me to show you guys everything, I guess I should say. Solomon's always getting the crew cabs, making sure he gets all that content. Subscribe to Ford Air if you want to see all the badass trucks out here. I'm not going to cover them all, he will. But uh, gosh, some of the cars, man. Dang, just a car selection here. These cars are so freaking clean. Look at this. Wow. That is so clean. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. Just look at the selection. You got a freaking Humvee next to a Fastback Mustang. If you ever wondered to yourself, you're not from America, you wonder what classic car shows in Cal or in not California, I'm used to saying that, but in America are like, this is it. Got a lightning right here. Dang, look at this thing. This is my kind of stuff. Is that a Supra? Dude, that is so sick. Oh, hey. 
Got our boys out here, heat shield products on the turbo blanket. That looks pretty dang good. I don't care how many people would not like that. I would put a 2J in a classic car. I think that's so sick, especially if this was like a six cylinder car to begin with. That thing probably hauls, probably makes like four or 500 at the tire. But that turbo was not small either. Gosh, the, the sun just finally got behind the cloud. It's like solid 15 degrees cooler. I was just dying. My arms like burnt to heck and everything. But either way, a bunch of you guys running up and saying hi to me. So I really appreciate that if you're out here. Hopefully I get to see you guys. This is the first time I've been on the East Coast for this kind of stuff. So I know there's a lot of my subscriber bases out here. So for those of you guys who said hi, I appreciate it. For everyone I haven't seen, I really apologize. We're really cutting it's close on time because we got to get where we need to go and make sure we make it there. Kevin's got the Concord out here, rolled up. Got the AC, had a recharger today, but uh, thing looks pretty clean. It's parked over here. Look at these seats. That would be the most comfy car ever, man. Hi, you mad, man. Dang. This looks horrible. How are you guys? Oh, there we go. Oh, now it's now sunny. we're talking. That's got to be the solid 65 degrees oh. out here. You're ready to rock and roll. AC. I saw your... There we go. AC. How's she going? Yeah. Got the old stuff off? It's coming off. Getting there. Almost. The rears are already on. A little sweaty there, man. A little hot outside. Whoa. Is that, that are your two legs? What's that? My arm. Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, look at that thing. Holy crud. He must be hot as heck in that thing. So Mike's having a glorious time right now. Gets some on goodies in. Looks like we're having a couple issues getting the hardware to actually pull in the top hat. I don't know how hot it is. It's really damn hot. It's it's all the hot. It's all the hot. It's it's all the wet hot too. So it's like yeah. buffalo wild wings, top of the spicy menu. That's a very good comparison. That's pretty pretty dang accurate. But we got this little like shade thing, which is pretty nice. Minus the fact my calves are getting absolutely roached, which is pretty pretty nice. I need carriage bolts because the spring sits up on it, so we don't want all the hardware to hitting and rubbing on the spring. But uh, a bunch of cool people showed up. We got Emily Reeves over there. We got Dylan McCool over there. Like I keep saying it every single day of Power Tours, a family reunion. It's pretty dang cool. Hi. Look who I found running around! Hi y'all! Pretty good, I mean, it is. So, how's your, what's your favorite part of Power Tour? What's your favorite part of Power Tour hey, so far? Hey, you know far? what? Trying to make words come out. Uh, I've been staying up late every night doing daily episodes. So, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. She's doing a little um, bit better than I am, that's for sure. We, oh we, my gosh. we tried doing the daily stuff and I was like, mm, we got back, did the radiator, it's like 1.30 in the morning, I was like, I'm not editing, I'm going to bed. I'm just gonna wipe it, clear the card out and we're just gonna start over. It's not smart, no. but I thankfully, my husband has been driving, so I don't have to like use a lot of brain power to, you know, operate a vehicle. Yeah. But um, we haven't had a lot of problems, thankfully. That's good. Just tinkery stuff. Did you guys drive from Texas City? We did, yeah. Oh, it was dang. like 500 miles to start the tour. Okay. And then, of course, the tour will do all but one stop, and then it's like 600 miles home. Okay, so you're pretty so, much in the same boat as us. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, it's a couple thousand miles. Yeah, either and way, no matter what, how you we're look We're in it. our early Bronco, which we haven't ever taken across the country before so um she's doing great she is a rodeo to drive so, that is good like oh yeah i can imagine my shoulders are sore from the little bit of driving that i did this yes. morning in those windy roads with the yeah. stuff oh yeah i mean they were great roads i was huh? like erin yeah. it's your turn yeah yeah really? but it is so fun we first did our um honeymoon on power tour in 2007. really yeah so it's been 15 years that we've been doing this event that is insane and every year is different every year is wonderful in its own way and punishing in its own way oh of course yeah That's but as gearheads like you do this event and afterwards you're like boy that was a beating and then you're like i can't wait for next year well, what's that, wrong with that, me that's what i think i look at all the photos and i'm like man i'm sunburned i'm sweating i'm, I'm smelling and, and it's like but i can't wait to go home and tell my friends that they need to come to the yeah, next year literally. it's like it's a punishment that you want your friends to do with you and it's really fun oh, 100%. while it's happening you're like this is really hard yeah and you're like this is badass it, it's the most fun memories you'll have though, yeah honestly. exactly so. Awesome. It's glad to find it to you again. You too. Yeah. Likewise. Love it. You're doing awesome. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It's back on its own way. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna adjust it. It's a little low. Oh, a little low? Well, that's oh, actually no. a good thing. I was gonna say. We got some adjustment up this time. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's good. Man, dude, it's, it's a whole party around here. Oh, dude, it's a party. Yeah, got everybody over here. Everyone's yeah. checking out the truck, man. We're just hugging. Like. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Craig? Nice to meet you. Rich. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, I love it. Sweetheart. Yeah. Perfect stance, perfect tires. Oh, yeah. It's just perfect colors. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, weather is whack. I can already feel like, I can feel bits of mist or somebody's just spitting in my face. I don't really know. But uh, you can see some clouds. There you can really see them, so. 
It's uh, that's gonna be fun. But my car's pretty much wrapped up. Got a bunch of guys hanging out, they're having a good time. I can definitely feel the rain. It's not spit. It's definitely rain. So we should probably get moving before uh, we get stuck in a rainstorm. But either way. Hey, you can't park there. You can't park there. Uh, sorry. I can do whatever I want. If you can, I just say sorry. Sorry. <laughs> make it better or worse? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's safe. Find all the We're not Where instigating anything. Uh, turn, turn the nitrous on, right? Yeah. Gonna crank over the bottom. Yeah, there you go. We know where the racing line is. This was all the start of actually Rob. We were all good ones. Nice. We got the few going. Nice. That's a, that's a Concord. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, this is. I know. Is that you? There's only one. It's gotta be. That's gotta be you. Dude, that's like that's like a solid. That's a good tread, man. That's like that's like a solid. That's a good tread, man. guys dang it is late i think it's yeah it's 11 30 at night right now you can see we got some other hot rods over there <clears throat> we are tired oh my gosh it is day three end of day three i gotta go inside and edit this video up for you guys so you have something to watch tomorrow hope you guys are stoked with all the progress we've been doing a ton of miles i think we got a total of like 1500 miles on this thing so far Doing pretty good, feeling good, truck's running good. So like the video if you did enjoy it, let me do think down in the comments below. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Subscribe if you are new, it would really mean a lot to me. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll be getting sunburned. Man, I am just, yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Just do it.